When I first saw a picture of this coffee maker, it stopped me dead. Like the thing looks so crazy. It just catches your eye. And that was what happened to me when I first saw it. It's called the Hikaru Smart Brewer and it's made by a company called Heroya which is kind of like the technical Internet of Things division of the pour over giant Herio. Now, as soon as I saw it on my Instagram feed, I DM'd the Herio team right away and said, hey, how quickly would I be able to get a unit of this thing to review on my channel? And they said, well, we can do you one better. Why don't you fly to our HQ in Taiwan to check it out? So here I am right in the middle of their HQ on the other side of the planet. Now, as of recording this video, I've only had hands on with this thing in a couple days. And in that amount of time, I've been surprised several times by what's going on underneath the hood. But once they start shipping these units out, I get my hands on one, I will be following up with another video once I've had a chance to play with this thing for an extended period at home. But I am very excited to share with you this thing because it does some really interesting stuff and it's got some really cool tech going on behind the scenes. Here's the bottom line, from my opinion, after a couple days right up front. This is made by probably the most iconic name in pour over, Herio. It's got smoke show good looks, obviously. And the name of the game with this from their perspective is to deliver you the most consistent cup of coffee possible. But because of the way they've designed it, it's very intuitive to use despite the technology that's operating under the hood. One thing you may or may not know is that this is not actually the first automatic pour over machine from Herio. They started with a kind of thermoblock powered, very simple coffee dripper machine. They released the Herio Smart 7, which is a programmable machine. And then through Heroya, they launched Samantha, which is a super high tech, more like commercial setup with these internal scales, complicated software algorithms and programmability that is really designed for high repeatability in a commercial setting. There's a fellow named JQ. He's one of the head judges for the SCA and he actually uses Samantha's in his lab because of that consistency of how they work, really fine tuning the coffee ratios, volume of output, all that kind of stuff. And what Herio has done with this machine is taken all of the learnings and all of the technology from the Samantha and the machines that came before it and kind of deployed it into this home package that contains all of that good stuff is in a more attractive case and is also less expensive than the Samantha. Now, all that's well and good and it certainly looks great, but how is it to use and how good is the coffee that it makes? Well, all those other brewers are designed around the V60 and this one is no different. So you start off by grinding up your coffee, loading it up in the V60 with a filter, just like you would for a typical pour over, and then you're ready to brew. Machine only has three buttons, which, you know, simplicity is something that I'm always a big fan of. One button to turn it on, another button to select the recipe, and the third button, which basically tells it to start brewing. So to walk up and use it, it just kind of makes sense. Like you don't almost don't even need to read the manual, which is always something I love. Then once it is brewing, it's got these cool LED, like these little flashy light sequences built in that will do like a different lighting pattern, you know, whether you're heating, whether it's blooming, brewing, or, you know, finished up, it will kind of give you different indications to let you know what stage it's at. So from a usability standpoint, it's very intuitive. And the taste of the coffee is really good too. Just like an iconic V60 pour over. Now what's nice is once you're ready to start deep diving into the world of pour over, you can use their app and kind of program everything down to very fine steps. You know, you can program each pour down to the milliliter, the timing between steps, the temperature, the brew ratio, you know, you can figure out all of those things and program it exactly. And it will run the pattern perfectly consistently every single 
time. But you can also just walk up to it, use one of the preset buttons, just hit it and go, and you're gonna end up with a great cup of coffee as well. A couple other cool things that they told me they were working on, which I thought were great. You know, you can design a recipe, send it to friends, share it, post it on an internet, whatever. I thought that was really cool. And you'll also be able to use coffee specific recipes designed by roasters for specific coffees. One thing that I heard as I was kind of talking to their team about this that I thought was really cool, there's a guy named Tetsu Kasuya. If you're into pour over, you may know this guy, or if not, you should definitely look him up. He developed an iconic pour over recipe called the 4-6 method, and you should definitely look that up if you're a pour over person. And Tetsu was actually an early adopter of the Samantha machine, as well as this machine. And in partnership with him, they're actually deploying his 4-6 recipe as a recipe in this machine. So when I first got here, we brewed a couple cups and they tasted great. But I was also really surprised because how it actually brews is not totally what I expected. If you're like a coffee casual hobbyist type person, you know, the bottom line here is that it makes perfectly consistent pour over every time in a way that's almost like criminally simple for the tech that they have going on underneath the hood. It tastes great, it looks great, it's easy to use. So if you're a coffee casual person, you know, you like coffee, you wanna get into, you know, a pour over machine, you're checking out my video for whatever reason, it makes great tasting coffee and it does it perfectly consistently. So I think you'd be very happy with it. When I had a couple cups off it, you know, it tasted great. And I agree, it is very consistent in the way it brews. Now stick with me for a minute while I talk to the pour over fanatics in the room. If you're a deep diving pour over person, I have to say, I didn't really kind of get this brewer until I saw it actually work. You know, it seems like very kind of simple on its face, how it works, but there are like a couple quirks that I didn't really get from the videos that I had seen. It's got this kind of relatively narrow shower head. And when you look at it, like the water streams are kind of thin and you're like, how is this going to work? Like, is that going to like saturate all of the coffee? Like, I don't get how this is trying to replicate a hand done pour over. And that's because it doesn't really work like a kettle pour over. They use the term variable turbulence extraction, which, you know, I just kind of thought was they're gonna turn the flow rate up and down. You know, with a kettle, you can pour it out a little bit or you can pour it out a lot. But the thing is when you're using a kettle in that way, it's gonna give you different flow rates, but it's all just gonna be kind of falling out. This operates differently. It forces the water out of that shower head with a pump which kind of sprays it down at a faster speed, penetrating deeper into the coffee bed and providing turbulence to mix everything up, saturate, extract evenly, all that. It's kind of a different principle than a kettle where it's falling out and you're trying to stir it like that. This kind of like jets down into the coffee to kind of mix everything up while you're brewing at those higher flow rates. You know, I've actually seen something very similar being worked on by Scott Rayo with Decent Espresso where they've kind of modified an espresso machine to kind of shoot down jets, to provide turbulence in a coffee bed, and it's almost exactly the same thing how this is working. Also, it's got this scale that is actually inside the water tank that is going to, as the water is getting pumped out, it's using software algorithms to kill the flow at a very specific point to ensure that the water that actually comes out into the coffee is going to be bang on the amount that you have programmed. You know, similar programmable brewers can have up to like a five to even 15% margin of error with pumps because it just is really hard to control. And the Herio Haroya team has gotten this down to like a 3% margin of error on every pour, which is an incredible fine amount for an automatic pump driven system like this that's doing a pour over. Now that's a lot of words, unless you're like a pour over fanatic type person. And if you're not a deep diver like that, it really translates into two things, consistency and simplicity. You end up with a very complex, high tech, lots of sensors, lots of algorithms machine wrapped up in a package that's deceptively simple and easy to use. Now I know some of you 
will have been watching this video and the first thing will come to mind is how does this work with other drippers? Well, I brought a couple with me and it does work very well with those other drippers too. Now, is this gonna be the same as doing a pour over with your hand by a kettle? No, but again, it's not really designed to be. It's using a really unconventional mechanism to create that turbulence to get the extraction in the coffee bed that you need. I was really impressed by Hario when I saw this and especially once I started Started digging into it not just because it makes a great cup and it's a great looking product I mean it, it does do both of those things but this is a really bold step for Hario you know Hario isn't the type of company that every time you turn around they have a new product on their website but then they come out of nowhere with this on brand and absolute knockout of a coffee maker and not only did they cram it full of this smart technology to give you this incredibly high level of consistency. They also design it to use this really kind of unconventional brewing mechanic to raise that level of consistency even further, to give you great consistent cups in a package that you can just walk up and start using without feeling like you need to dig through a big instruction manual. Price point wise, it's definitely not a cheap brewer. So you you know, if you're looking for a cheap coffee maker, this is probably not gonna be it. But when you think about it, you know, once you get a really nice pour over kettle that's got temperature programmability, nice scale, you know, you're spending a lot of money. So in comparison to that, it comes out a lot more even than you might expect when you first see the price. So I'm going to be trying to get my hands on one of these so that I can spend a lot more time messing around with it at home and following up with another video down the line after I've had some more time to use it. But in the meantime, I want to know, what do you think about this new brewer from Hario? I was kind of surprised by the approach they took to an automatic pour over machine. Are you? What do you think of the looks? They kind of grabbed me. Do they grab you? Or maybe you're trying to figure out, do I want to go in this direction with an automated pour over brewer? Or do I want to do the manual thing? I would love to hear from you as well. Let me know your thoughts and questions. Drop them all in the comments and I'll get to them before my follow up video for this brewer. And in the meantime, happy brewing.